My name is Dr. Michelle Wilson. I practice primary care sports medicine at the Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas, part of Greenville Hospital System. And I want to spend some time today talking about when to be worried about a stress fracture. A stress fracture is a break in a bone that has occurred over time um, after a repetitive stress to that bone. How that happens is usually uh, from overuse, and you can actually classify a stress fracture as an overuse injury. The most common patient population that I see stress fractures in is the running population because of the repetitive impact that they undergo. And when they come into my office, they're often complaining of pain, and that pain is associated with their runs and often begins after their runs have been completed. But what they'll notice is that the pain persists and they're constantly getting pain with each run. And that's a kind of a classic stress fracture history. And that's one of the things I want to ask them about when I see them in the office. After we've gone through their history, then we'll go on and have an x-ray done. And I'm looking for evidence of a stress fracture on the x-ray. I should, if they have a fracture, I should be able to see um, a fracture on the film. If they do not have a fracture in the film, they may be developing a stress reaction, which is not going to be evident on x-ray. From there, that's, that's how we guide treatment. And the treatment for a stress reaction, which is the step before fracture, is to rest that area. And for the runner, that would be no running for a period of time, at least three to four weeks. If I identify a stress fracture on the x-ray, then from there, I want the patient to rest that area, but also be immobilized. And immobilization is going to be a cast or a boot or whatever is appropriate for the area that's fractured. Immobilization will be for about four to six weeks, depending on the type of the fracture. Um, that should be about enough time for a patient to heal. At that time, they may be able to advance their activity. It's important to identify a stress fracture sooner rather than later to avoid longer immobilization, to allow you to get back to your sport more quickly, and also to avoid any more aggressive treatment that might be necessary, including surgery. If you're concerned that you have a stress fracture, we encourage you to call our offices and make an appointment.